guys, it's Tiffany, and I am from Play Live Repeat, and I have some fun Lego news to reveal to you. If you have the kids at home and you need some boredom busters, I have a bunch of cool new sets that are coming out, particularly one that's coming out April 1st. No joke, you can get the new Lego ideas. Pirates of Barracuda Bay set that includes a multi-leveled, highly detailed pirate ship that houses eight merry characters of minifigures, including the iconic Captain Redbeard, Lady Anchor, Robin Loot, and the twins, Port and Starboard, as well as three other pirates and two skeleton figures, plus various animals to discover on the island, including a shark. Lego fans may see that this Lego idea set is inspired by the various Lego sets from the days of yore, 1989 to 1997, including the 1989 Black Sea Barracuda pirate ship model. One I remember from my childhood is that shark from the Battle Cove set. This is such a great Lego idea set. There's just so many elements of play. There are various scenes to explore and gives Lego brick fans opportunities for many different storylines. You could search for buried treasure. You can even separate the island to create a larger scale scene to enrich the story. Keep it all together for an epic display or just for play. The new Lego Ideas Pirates of Barracuda Bay retails for $199.99 and you can order it online at lego.com for free and fast delivery. Lego Ideas Pirates of Barracuda Bay said, yes, it does seem pricey, but it has over 2,500 Lego bricks and lots of play value. Plus the build time with family is priceless. Don't forget to enter the Lego Land New York Resort contest also. Just click offers and sales on lego.com and you can scroll down to find out how to enter. You can upload a receipt from participating stores like Target, Walmart, Amazon, and lego.com. I already spent like over $200 last month and I was so happy to enter and now I had like 20 entries. Every $10 that you spend on Lego products earns you one entry. So the contest ends April 30th. Don't forget to enter if you're purchasing through any of those outlets. Plus, if you're purchasing lego.com, they're giving away free Easter themed Lego sets with your purchase. So if you make a $50 purchase, you get the really adorable egg set. Or if you're making a $30 purchase, you get the free Easter bunny set. Other Lego sets that you may want to consider while we're locking down and trying to flatten the curve. The new Minions Rise of Gru Lego sets are coming out April 27, 2020. Be on the lookout for those. Plus, the Trolls World Tour sets are already in stores now. They are a lot of fun to build. When you're swinging by Target to get your food and other essentials, just sneak on over the Lego section and you'll find at the end cap some new bag builds. I picked up a train set bag, which is perfect for people who did not get the 40th anniversary train set. This is a great alternative. Plus they have trolls featuring Poppy. They also have the Easter Bunny one. And I also found a Spider-Man set like hidden away in the Easter section at Target. These are great Easter basket ideas, plus easy board and busters, like give them a bag, build it, and they can play. I made sure to stock up on lots of sets before New York paused. I also added onto my order the new Brickhead sets that includes Donald Duck and the Goofy and Pluto sets. They are really super cute. And since I spent over a certain amount, I got the 40th anniversary train set for free. So we will follow up with a build on that. Stay tuned for that video. What do you think of the new Pirates of Barracuda Bay set? Are you like totally excited that they pay homage to late 80s and 90s sets? I am uh, stoked, that's for sure. It's for brick builders ages 16 and up, but the whole family can work together to create this amazing display. For, again, under $200, $199.99, pretty pricey, but you have over 2,500 Lego brick pieces and lots of quality time. So guys, let me know what you think of it in the comments below. Thank you so much to Lego for sharing your images with me and all of this information. Stay safe, guys. Stay well. And please help flatten the curve. Stay six feet apart. I went to the post office today to drop off something for my sister because she needs masks in such a bad way. And she has none. And she works at a hospital. They only give her one mask. So when I went to the post office, I was so disgusted to see that people were just literally standing right next to each other. Stay six feet apart. It's so important if you have to go out. If you don't have to go out, stay inside, please. We don't want this to get any worse. In New York alone, it's over 25,000 cases. Please, 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 I implore you, stay home. All right, guys, stay well, stay safe, and stay home. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.